The Antichrist is not really bothered about the presence of Christ in the spirit. So far as he remains in the spirit. But any time Christ is going to manifest physically, there is going to come a resistance of the Antichrist. What does that mean? It means that the Antichrist opposes those who have the spirit of Christ in them manifesting Christ physically. He opposes those who have the spirit of Christ in them manifesting Christ physically. What does that mean? Now how many of you believe you have Christ in you? Okay, most of you believe so. Some of you are still thinking through the question. How many of you believe you have Christ living in you? Okay, all right. Christ lives in us by his spirit. But any time we do something as a result of the spirit dwelling in us that must be seen by people, we have manifested Christ. Christ has been seen in the flesh. So, for example, this auditorium is Christ manifested. When somebody sees this building or comes into this building, they would instantly see what these people believe is now giving manifestation. This building is Christ manifested. When a church builds an a big building, it's Christ manifested. When a believer wants to do something great for God, it is Christ manifested in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist, his main agenda is to make sure that the believer has Christ in him, but never manifest Christ. So anytime a believer attempts to manifest Christ, He's going to come against a resistance. It's called the spirit of the Antichrist. So, for example, if uh, a church uh, is spirit-filled, tongue-talking, but never do anything, they never build anything, they never do anything great, they never do anything fascinating, no opposition for them because Christ has not been manifested. But the day that church decides it's going to do something significant for God, everything in hell is going to break loose against that person because that person is moving from Christ within to Christ outside. I hope you are getting it. So if you are a believer, for example, and uh, you love the Lord and you speak in tongues and you pray in the spirit, but you never attempt anything big, life will be very normal for you. But the day you decide, I'm going to build a factory, I'm going to do something great, I'm going to build my house, I'm going to build a factory, uh, I'm going to build a, a business, I'm going, to, I'm going to do something for the world to see that what I believe is real in the physical world, the spirit of the Antichrist will rise up. So don't ever be surprised when people sometimes out of nowhere rise up against the church have you noticed have you noticed in this world that when any organization builds something massive everybody is happy when a big stadium is built for football everybody is happy oh what a great stadium a big hospital is built everybody says oh that is a great project a big school is built Everybody is happy. Uh, a big nightclub is built. Everybody say, wow, what a great project. A big hotel is built. Wow. Just name it. For any sector of life, if people go to Dubai and see the Burj Khalifa and the tallest building, they say, wow. They see the, the one on the sea, the Burj Al Arab, they say, wow. People go to Las Vegas and see all these gambling facilities and they praise it and people write about development and all of that. The only thing people never rejoice when it is built is a church building. Build a massive church building and the first question people is going to ask is, 
why don't you give the money to the poor have you noticed that now the people who build the Burj Al Arab have they solved the poverty problem in the world no we're building we're watching the World Cup everybody's watching Russia look at those stadiums have they solved the poverty problem no if one church was like one stadium the story will be different why is it that the world permits everybody else to manifest what they have but never feel comfortable when the church is manifesting this is the reason because the bible says the spirit of the antichrist is against christ manifested in the flesh anytime a believer seeks to do anything extraordinary they are going to come against the spirit 